Adventure Time Season 4, Episode 14, Card Wars. This was an episode of the absolutely classic Cartoon Network series Adventure Time, all about this fantastical card game called Card Wars. It's been a little while since I've seen the episode. I don't remember exactly what happens. It was an in-universe card game played by Finn and Jake for that one episode, and then they went and made it real. And today, we're opening it. This is a booster box of the Cryptozoic Adventure Time Card Wars set. Adventure Time Card Wars for the glory booster pack box. Three foil cards in every pack, wow. So for any of you guys who haven't seen it, last year I opened a different Cryptozoic Adventure Time set that was just a collectible card set. It wasn't a game, there wasn't like rules or anything, it was just a set of collectible cards. Yeah, kind of like those Steven Universe cards, there's Star Wars and Marvel cards that are similar, you know, it's got sketch cards, autograph cards, you know, screenshots, etc. But this, made by the same company, is actually a game. And I've not opened a ton of them before, so this is gonna be interesting. What I do know is that despite them being on the front of the box, I don't think there are any cards with any of these Adventure Time characters on them. Like, there's no Finn and Jake, Princess Bubblegum, Lumpy Space Princess, Lady Rainicorn, or Bimo on any of these cards because this is supposed to be an in-universe card game, right? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know a whole lot about this set. So let's actually take a look at the back. More cards for warring! <laughs> <laughs> Introducing new buildings, spells for casting, and creatures for flooping. Oh, that Adventure Time talk. To add to your Adventure Time Card Wars decks. Each pack includes six common cards, two uncommon cards, and one rare card. May the five winds waft the smell of victory to your door. Oh, this is interesting. This is not a standalone set. An Adventure Time Card Wars Collector's Pack is required to play. You know, that probably doesn't matter because these definitely aren't in print anymore, but apparently if you just have this, this is not enough to play the game. I guess it's kind of like Magic the Gathering draft packs in that way. Oh, let's see. Copyright 2014. So these are almost a decade old. Wow. <laughs> but before we get into it, Adventure Time Card Wars, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Adventure Time Card Wars. Yeah, this is crazy. Right after I filmed this card opening, the makers of Card Wars, Cryptozoic, reached out asking if I wanted to promote their Kickstarter campaign for, of all things, the return of Card Wars. Very, very coincidentally, right as I was planning this video, Cryptozoic was planning a comeback to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Card Wars. And to make it happen, they've launched a Kickstarter campaign that you can pledge to right now at the link in the description. So, Card Wars is a game that originates from an old episode of Adventure Time. Two players, each equipped with a 40 card deck, build up landscapes, spend actions, cast spells, and play creatures, all to gain the upper hand, wipe their opponent's HP down to zero, and become a cool guy. <laughs> it's an easy to learn two player head to head card game that if my comments section is anything to go by, a lot of you guys have really enjoyed. And this new Kickstarter campaign boasts all the Card Wars stuff you could ever want with tons of Kickstarter exclusive rewards. You got a collection of all six original Card Wars packs, a deluxe edition of the doubles tournament game, play mats, collector storage boxes, card sleeves, I really like that one, and more spread across the various backer tiers. That is hundreds of Card Wars cards and tons of other cool Adventure Time merch available exclusively to Kickstarter backers. Now, unsurprisingly, the campaign has been a very quick success, so the initial funding goal has been reached. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't still pledge. Not only are there stretch goals to reach on top of that, but this Kickstarter campaign is the only place to find Card Wars right now. So definitely check out the campaign and get yourself some cool Adventure Time cards. If you do support the campaign using my link in the description, I do get some kickback from it, so it also helps support the channel. Thank you so much to Cryptozoic for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description to pledge to their Kickstarter campaign. And now, back to the open video which was filmed in the past when I was not quite as knowledgeable about Card Wars as I am now so like just keep that in mind. So I'm opening one booster box of Card Wars cards today. I actually have three that I got off eBay back in like 2021, but I haven't opened any of them specifically because I was waiting for the right time to do it. But you know, all those years later, maybe I got scammed and I'll just be finding out now. So let's just crack this guy open. Ooh, there we go. With everyone talking about Adventure Time again because of uh, the Fiona and Cake spinoff finally coming out, I figured it was finally time to get back into the world of Adventure Time cards. So let's take a look at these booster packs. They look basically standard standard compared to what was on the box. This is not a standalone set and Adventure Time Card Wars collector pack is required to play. Same thing as usual, nine cards per pack. Let's just, let's just open one and see what happens because I really am not sure what to expect. I've maybe opened like six packs of this set before. Ooh, let's take a look at the back. Card Wars, that's an interesting font, nice. And then on the front, Raise the Dead. Okay, so I guess this is one of our three foil cards in a pack. Let's see what's next. Fancy Pants Gnome. <laughs> Useless Swamp 
creature. Floop, deal one damage to each opposing creature that is on a cornfield landscape. Interesting. So with the different like color archetypes and things like that, I'm kind of getting the sense that this is a little bit Magic the Gathering vibes, but with Adventure Time art style. Well-dressed wolf. Oh, I got kind of like a rainbow archetype going on here. That's a cute card. Then we got Socks of Fortitude, <laughs> Blue Plains Spell, and Magic Lamp. So yeah, I guess that's basically what the packs are gonna be like. Just a bunch of cards with an Adventure Time art style, no Adventure Time characters, but they are for use in a game that is canon to the Adventure Time universe, I guess. It's interesting. It's a weird little piece of Adventure Time canon that became real. I've opened like maybe six packs of this set uh, before, and that's it. So I really don't know like what I'm looking for. I also never actually played the game. We got Quadurai. <laughs> is that how you say that? Oh man, the hollow is barely even showing up on screen. Let's get up close and see that. There we go. Rainbow creature. At the start of your turn, deal two damage to each opponent with four or more cards in their hand. Nice. Sand Pyramid is our second foil. And Husker Knight as our third. That's so, those classic Adventure Time grassy hills. Nice. That's another thing I do remember. There was a lot of corn in Card Wars. A lot of corn present in that. Blue Murloc. Okay, looks a little bit like Marshall Lee. <laughs> we got Pink Candy. That's Cotton Candy. Spell Warp. He's half. He's been twice. Oh no. Husker Amulet, more corn, Polterclops, ooh. Oh, it's a little Cyclops Ghost Worm. That's kind of cute, I like that name. Portal to Nowhere, this is a card with feet. Is that feet or hands? You can't really tell with the Adventure Time art style and then that's it. <laughs> so they're putting the foil cards up to the front. So I guess if I wanna like try and keep it a secret, I need to open them like this. Kind of open them from the back, pull them out like this and put three cards to the back like that. If we wanna do like a Pokemon style pack trick. Pirate Bear? Oh, I love him. Look at him. Let's adjust the light. Look at Pirate Bear. He's so good. While Pirate Bear is on useless swamp landscape, it deals triple damage. He's a good bear. I like him. He's corn. Cool. Ghost, just a regular ghost. Rainbow ghost, though. Which way? Look at that art, man. Ooh. Rainbow in the background, the rolling fields, the creepy forest. Oh, that's so nice. It's classic Adventure Time, too. Each of your creatures that is on a useless swamp landscape has plus two attack during its turn. Incredible egg! You're telling me! Look at that thing! It's huge! <laughs> I love how, like, bombastic it is for just an egg. I like that. Ooh, shadowy pyramid. Uh, what's this remind you of? What other cartoon from the same time period of Adventure Time does this remind you of? A pyramid with an eye on it? Hmm. Oh, Corn Eye! <laughs> hey, everybody, it's old Corn Eye. <laughs> He's great. I love him. Ooh, now we're getting into our foils. We got Psychic Tempest. That's like a. What is going on in there? It's a tornado of brains. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Sandland Spell. Return all creatures in play to your own hand. This includes stolen creatures. It is a tornado of brains. Talk about a brain twister. Blue Slimy and Log Knight. He is a knight made of wood. I like him. <laughs> I like him. This is just a pleasant set, isn't it? All right, so we're three packs in, starting to kind of get the gist of things. This is a 24-pack booster box, by the way, so uh, uh, not quite as many as a Pokemon box, but still a pretty good amount of packs to go through. Now, one thing I didn't realize that I found out very quickly through covering Adventure Time cards in various videos, whoa, did I do it wrong? Foil's in a different spot. Okay, well, we got a foil blue ogre. That's kind of neat. He looks out of it, but he's got a party hat on and a balloon. That's fun. Uh, did I do the pack trick wrong? I might have. Hold on. We got a temple of the sun, yet another pyramid. Then we got giant mummy hand. And then I thought these were the foils, but I guess I guess the pack order is different sometimes. Weird. Is that, a, is that an error or something? Master of disguise, just some Groucho Marx glasses. We got a ring of damage. It looks weirdly soft. And Davy Bones, aw, Pirate Bear is back, but now he's dead. Yay. <laughs> okay, uh, the pack trick being wrong on that one threw me off a little bit. So uh, let me try starting that thought over. Uh, one thing I did not realize about Card Wars that I soon found out by covering Adventure Time card stuff in videos is that there was actually an app. Not only did they make the card game real, ew, ew, <laughs> I don't like that one. Not only did they make the card game real, like in real life, but they also also made an app version that you could play and apparently a lot of the people who watch my Adventure Time videos grew up playing it and it's not active anymore so I hope this is like kind of fun to see like it's, it might not be around as an app anymore but it still exists in real life we got the Sun King basking in himself I guess I, I he's cute I like that 
Nice windmill. It's a nice windmill. And strawberry slimy to go with the blue one. So because Cryptozoic, the people who made uh, these cards back in the day, also made the Steven Universe cards that I've opened before and the other Adventure Time cards that I've opened, you know, I follow you know, what they're up to pretty closely. And I got an email newsletter from them the other day. Apparently they are trying to bring Card Wars back as, uh, as like a 10th anniversary thing. I think they're launching some kind of crowdfunding campaign for it. I mean, I don't know much about it. I just got an email about it. A weird time because I was just about to do this video. <laughs> we got a Puma Paw, Green Party Ogre, and then we got our foils. We got the Smoldering Elder. <laughs> That's so silly. Look at him. Look at him go. Then we got Blueberry Pie Clops. <laughs> Aw. That, like, none of these are actual things from Adventure Time, but they are just so Adventure Time coded. Orange Slimy. Gross. So yeah, apparently right around the time I decided to finally do my Card Wars video, it seems like there's a chance that Card Wars may be making some level of a comeback. And of course, the reason I'm like kind of trying to get back into some Adventure Time content right now is that uh, Adventure Time Fiona and Cake came out, the uh, the spin-off series that's been in the works for years, man. And I, I, I'm not gonna spoil anything about it here, that's for the main channel. Which slap? Oh no, that's a classic Adventure Time face though. Finn has definitely made that face before, but that is that is a professional slap right there. That is not playing around. Then we got Full Metal Racket. <laughs> Look at the little tennis ball. Look at the tennis ball, he's friends. Uh -huh. And then Spirit Tower. Now that's some Lord of the Rings type stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much about, you know, details of Fiona and Cake, the series here. I definitely plan on making some videos about it on the main channel, but of course, uh, with the caveat, as I have been doing with a lot of my videos on cartoons and movies recently, you know, I always put out like the disclaimer that, you know, while we are talking about this, we should not forget that the writers had been on strike for months, their strike just ended, but the Screen Actors Guild SAG-AFTRA, they are still on strike. <laughs> and those are the people who make these shows happen, whether they are writing them or performing them, they are the ones who make these things possible and the ones who deserve fair pay. And they are on strike trying to fight for that fair pay. And so I would not feel right talking about uh, cartoons and movies like I usually do, especially new ones without at least making sure to keep us all aware. Hopefully all that can be sorted soon and the actors get their fair deal, etc., etc. But for now, all I'll say about Fiona and Cake here here is that it might be my favorite Adventure Time story that's ever been told. I, I genuinely think that the people who made that did a fantastic job and they deserve to be paid fairly for it. So we'll get back into this now. Pink candy, more cotton candy, another corn necklace, another polter clops. We're starting to see some repeats now. Got a portal to nowhere. Ooh, here's a new one, ghost tree. Ooh, I like this face. I like this face, good face. But yeah, anyone who, ooh, golden jackals. Talk about a good face. That is a long face. That is an angry dog, okay? Then we got our foils. We got genie ghost, yellow gnome. I love the gnome cards. They're always in the same pose from what I've seen. And ooh, we got full metal racket again. But yeah, uh, because I've never actually played the Card Wars game and it's been a minute since I've seen the Card Wars episode of Adventure Time. Uh, and apparently like a good handful of my viewers do have quite a bit of experience with the the Card Wars game, please tell me what this is. Tell me what I'm looking at here. Well-dressed wolves, glowing socks, etc. I'm not, I don't really know how the game works and I have... <laughs> Captain Taco, what's he looking for? <laughs> what a good little guy. He's got a walking cane, a captain's hat, a little corn cob pipe and a telescope. Oh, we got another jackal, a sand jackal this time. Ooh, Toilet of Doom. <laughs> this is a sick card, actually. That art is great. Overflowing toilet, lots of toilet paper, and ghosts, and doom. I like it. Then we got green gnome. So we've had yellow gnome and one other kind of gnome, I don't remember. And a silo of justice. <laughs> of the background on this card. Look at that art. Look at that color scheme. Ooh, it's so pretty. You know, since I do have other booster boxes of this set, and it's probably not too hard, I say, hoping I don't have a repeat of the Steven Universe situation, to get a hold of some more Card Wars cards, uh, you know, there's every possibility that I could do some follow up videos on this uh, stuff when I know a little bit more about how it works. I just saw something a little bit interesting here. We got Davy Bones back again. Yellow Lighthouse, Little Freezy, <laughs> aww. Oh, Swamp Horn, we got, a, we got, we got brothers, we got brothers. <laughs> uh, and then we got Popcorn Power, we got Fright Tower, which rhymes, but this card is crimped. 
Look at that. This card is what's called crimped. You see this in Pokemon sometimes. The way they seal these packs, they kind of like press down on it with this like jagged little pattern. And if a card gets caught in that process, it gets that little pattern indented onto it. And it's kind of neat. It's a, it's a neat little thing to see. I've got a handful of Pokemon cards that have been crimped like that. But luckily all our foils seem to be in good condition here. We got the Fountain of Tears. It's a very happy looking card for the Fountain of Tears. I mean, the person at the top's not even crying. They're smiling. And the tears are coming from their shoulders. I don't know. It seems like a weird bit of brand. Ending. Then we got Beach Mummy. Come on, man. It's Beach Mummy. <laughs> Beach Mummy is just, that's a great band name, maybe? Yellow Slimy. We've had a pretty good arrangement of slime today. I definitely do want to make some more content on the other Adventure Time cards, the ones that I opened in a previous video because I love those kinds of collectible sets. Unfortunately, that set seems to be really, really repetitive. Like before we even got halfway through the first booster box, we were already seeing like an obscene amount of duplicates, but it's always worth it when you find the sketch cards and the autograph cards. I really love that kind of stuff. So, ooh, aw, Sandosaurus Rex. There's a plushie at Target that looks almost exactly like this thing. <laughs> I keep passing by it when I go to Target to get like groceries and stuff and I keep wanting to get it, but I, I like him. Another beach mummy, two packs in a row. And Lime Slimy, I like that name, Lime Slimy. That sounds like a fake, that sounds like a fake author name. <laughs> yeah, I've had my eye on a few different uh, Adventure Time card and Steven Universe card things on eBay, but the prices can be so exorbitant now, especially with them being out of print and, you know, maybe a little bit of my accidental doing here. Ghost Chest Burster, whoa. This guy's got a mischievous look on his face and tongue, it's a big tongue. Diamond Dan, <laughs> he's got a slingshot and he's gonna break you. Okay, we got a Puma Paw, we've seen that one. Green Party Ogre, we haven't seen any more but uh, blue and green on the Party Ogres. Master of Disguise, Ring of Damage, Corn Bat, that's a Corn Bat right there. <laughs> oh, I love this set. Pickler, <laughs> he's got warts. <laughs> he's got a jar of himself, I think, weird. Okay, and Giant Mummy Hand, we have seen that one. Pickler might be my favorite so far. I think he's silly. <laughs> I don't know exactly how the foiling works with this set, but if we could get a foil of Davy Bones, I'd be very happy. <laughs> I like Davy Bones. All right, we got three to the back and let's see. Ew, no, Lucky Penny. <laughs> I like that's just a straight up penny. That's Abraham Lincoln. Isn't he the president of Mars or something like that in Adventure Time? <laughs> Ring of Third Eye, King of Mars, something like that. Rocktopus, awesome name. Awesome name. Oh, Pirate Bear, speaking of which, he's not Davy Bones, but I do like Pirate Bear. Just a regular old ghost. Apple Bully, what? Apple Bully's landscape cannot be flipped down by effects opponent's control. Interesting. He looks so nice, but he's called a bully. Uh, that That's confusing. Uh, then you've got Blue Gnome, we got more gnomes, and Archer Dan, that's classic. That's like the Card Wars guy, isn't it? Archer Dan is 100% in the episode where they play Card Wars, right? I'm fairly positive. Oh yeah, yeah, he is, because there's a screenshot card in the uh, Adventure Time Cryptozoic set that I opened before that is a screenshot of the Card Wars episode with Archer Dan on it. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's fun. How many more packs of this we got? All right, so we're down to our last 10 packs. This is interesting. It's a fun little window into like Adventure Time's world and lore, but without it actually involving anyone from Adventure Time. Like this, this is like, uh, this is like Yu-Gi-Oh! Because uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime shows all these characters just playing duel monsters. And that's the game in like in the real world too. So the show is just showing people Timmy Magic Eyes, whoa, he's cool. <laughs> Sunglasses, bow tie, khaki shorts, no shirt, hell yeah. <laughs> Scroll of Bad Breath, that paper has tongues. Lady Beetle, I like that. Then we got Miss Mummy, aw, that's cute. <laughs> and Cow Spur. Oh man, there's so many dad joke names in this set. Cowsper. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of like uh, Duel Monsters and Yu-Gi-Oh. So like all the characters in the Yu-Gi-Oh anime just play Duel Monsters and that's what we play in the real world, but they call it Yu-Gi-Oh. So it's like a weird little meta thing. We got a little Freezy, Swamp Horn. Those guys came back to back in a different pack. Popcorn Power, Fright Tower also came back to back in a different pack because they rhymed. Green Snakey. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen this card a couple of times, but I never read the name. Green Snakey, well-dressed wolf. Oh no, <laughs> sack of pain. <laughs> That's a sack of pain right there. He's got a giant bat and such a pleasant smile on his face. <laughs> I like that. Ooh, Mew 
musical chair. That's a beautiful card. That's a chair made out of a keyboard, a cello, a guitar, and a harp. I love that. That's gorgeous. Ooh, I, that might be my favorite so far. And that's just the schoolhouse. I don't like school. Stay in it, but I don't like it. Yeah, that musical chair is by far my favorite card pulled so far. That's awesome. I love that. All right. Oh, well, I forgot to do the pack trick. All right, we got Kung Fu Power. We got some books about Kung Fu. We got a giant mummy hand and fancy pants gnome. We're back to the gnomes. Then into our regular non-holo cards. We got Diamond Dan, Puma Paw, Green Party Ogre, uh, Ring of Damage. Whoa, Davy Bones is back. Oh, it's my favorite guy. Yellow Lighthouse and that's it. I have no idea if there's like a, like a fan interest in general for the Card Wars cards. So like if anyone watching this is like, oh, I wonder what these cards are worth. No clue, dude, no clue. Probably not much. Cactus Thug. Oh, he's got warts again. <laughs> he's got like little little red spots. Uh, Fisher Fish. That is that is an intense scent. He has not slept in weeks. <laughs> that is an intense look. Scroll of Fresh Breath. Paper with teeth. No. No, I don't like that. Snake Eyes. Ooh, we haven't seen this one yet. We're getting some new cards in this pack. We got Ghost Chest Burster again. The Sludger. <laughs> <laughs> All sludge, no neck. <laughs> awesome. We got orange slimy, so that's our first repeat slimy. And the Temple of the Sun, which we have got before. Only six packs left in our booster box of Card Wars. This is so interesting. But yeah, since Fiona and Kate came out, I've been seeing a massive, like massive resurgence in interest in Adventure Time, which is interesting. Because when uh, the Distant Lands specials came out on HBO Max, uh, several years ago, I don't recall seeing anywhere near this level of like renewed attention to Adventure Time, but Fiona and Cake has really got it back on people's radar. This might be my favorite name yet, Pentacutie. <laughs> He's like a crystal with five extra crystals, I guess. Pentacutie. Li oh my god, <laughs> you're kidding. <laughs> Life Beater Gnome. Okay, we didn't want to use the colloquial term for that type of shirt. Immortal Maze Walker. So this guy is like a demon of corn? Corn demon, maybe? Just gonna get a spotlight on this one again. Moving on. How does one beat life? Wouldn't that mean that like, you have to die? All right, next pack. I'm just gonna move on from that concept right now okay one thing i've been thinking of doing is uh perusing ebay for already pulled steven universe and adventure time sketch cards just buying a bunch of them and then kind of doing a haul video because that's what i really open those packs for is those cool sketch cards but uh you know the boxes are getting really expensive much more expensive than even the most expensive of those uh sketch cards and those can get pretty pricey there's only like two Great butt, it's, it's purple butt in a box, moving on. Uh, oh, musical chair again, my favorite. And yellow gnome. Yeah, like ever since I did my video on them, the Steven Universe Cryptozoic boxes have become really expensive. They're like three, $400 a piece. You can't find them super often. And most of the sketch cards are only like $200 max, which I think is still a lot. We got Bill Cipher again, old corn eye. We got Blue Murloc, then we're going into Pink Candy, but you know, so it's easier to just buy a bunch of the sketch cards and just show them off on video because they're one of one, they're special, than to just get a big booster box for $400 just to get one, you know? Lieutenant Mushroom, he's so distressed. Oh no, he's so scared. And he has a gun with a knife on it. We got Archer Dan again, the classic boy, and Lying Slimy. Yeah, I've been thinking of doing that for the Steven Universe and Adventure Time sketch cards and then doing like a big haul that we can then get graded and see what they come back as. I think that would be really fun. I did some digging and found that Steven Universe and Adventure Time cards, I'm fairly positive, have actually been graded. I wasn't sure if they had before, but I found evidence that they have been. I actually found a pack of the Steven Universe trading card set that was graded by PSA being sold on eBay for a ridiculous price. It's, it's stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ethan Allfire. He's so good. He's a little flame ball. His name is Ethan. <laughs> Ethan, and he's all fire. Hi, guy. Hi, guy. Hi. <laughs> Look at him. He's so good. These are great. And Blue Gnome. And I had already seen like an Adventure Time autograph or sketch card be graded by PSA, not really to grade the condition of the card, but to authenticate a signature that was on it. So I know that these companies do accept these cards in some capacity. Maybe not these cards, but the other ones. So I really wanna try and get all of those cards graded for a video and just as a cool display, you know, keep them like 
safe in my collection because those are really precious to me. Ogre braces, ew. Lucky penny, ew. <laughs> Traveling wizard. Oh, he's cool. Look at the gleam in his eye. Oh, they're so excited about life. And they're on a unicycle. Oh, that's fun. So we got the Traveling Wizard, Black Paladin. These are all new, I like this. That sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card name. And then, oh, Unanite. What, whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. We've got, uh, we got twins. Or maybe it's one guy living like a double life as like a wizard in the day, but at night, he is the Unanite. That's awesome. <laughs> oh man, the lores, the lores expanding. <laughs> and with that, we've reached our last pack of Adventure Time Card Wars. Interesting set. Nothing, nothing from the actual show Adventure Time has shown up, but it's so like classic Adventure Time style. So it's been really interesting to see. We got Sea Hag, that's a really mean name. Gold Ninja. Cactus Thug, Fisher Fish with the Intense Glare. We got the Scroll of Fresh Breath, which is gross. Snake Eyes. Ooh, we are, oh, we're ending on some stuff I haven't seen. Golden Axe Stump. He's a happy little stump guy with a golden axe lodged in his brain. Then, Tax Reduction. <laughs> <laughs> and Ghost Ninja. Ooh, last pack gave us a bunch of cards we hadn't seen before. Nice. And with that, our first exploration of the world of Adventure Time Card Wars is done. That was really fun. You know, I'd kind of been sitting around like worrying if this was even going to make for a good video because I knew from like the couple of packs that I opened off camera that there were no Adventure Time characters present in these cards. But like this is so like classic Adventure Time coded that like it's kind of hard not to like it. Look at all these gnomes, look at all these like ice guys, and oh, and the fact that you get so many foils makes it really fun to open as well. All this like unique, like only in this set Adventure Time card art, and just all the different cards you get. I love the sense of humor it has. I love the silly names. Pickler is one of my favorites. And then some of the cards aren't like funny or silly. They're just like really creative, like the musical chair one. I love this stuff. And man, just look at all this. I'm still going. I just skipped one by accident. Oh man. So like I said, I've got two whole other booster boxes of this set that if I can figure out a way to make it work for future videos, because I am not, <laughs> I'm not convinced we wouldn't just be seeing duplicates the whole time. Uh, but you know, if you guys liked this and want more of it, I can definitely open some more Adventure Time Card Wars cards, but maybe you want something that actually has Finn and Jake on it. I don't know. And remember, you can check out the sponsor of today's video, Adventure Time Card Wars and Cryptozoic, by checking out the link in the description to support their Kickstarter. Thank you. Uh, leave.